And I guess I probably touched on some stuff. Because I talk about a lot of stuff that just happened during, you know, in regular life, whether poor, middle class, uh, struggling, if it's something to do with, like, abortions or something. And they said I I, I related to them, and they didn't even think they was going to be able to laugh. And they did, and they've had a whole, you know, they if nothing else, I bought them some time. And that was probably the most, that was the illest thing that ever happened. And I knew just my words and my laughter could do more than just make somebody laugh. It could actually right. change their perspective on outlook on life, obviously. And that was probably the craziest, but most rewarding thing about it. Um, right. The real thing I did on stage, but... It was the effect that it had off stage. Wow, that, that was kind of deep there. So since you're speaking with the, with your girl Carla, with what's popping with Power 904, let me ask you this last question: What do you want uh, to pop off about? I want to let all the comedians know, or uh, everybody that's in the game, getting in the game. Uh, I know it'd be a lot of people just pop up and just like do an open mic. And then, like, they run around and tell people, yeah, I'm a comedian. Um, it take, like, some time. It take some dedication. Like, this ain't nothing you could just go to an open mic and just start out running around telling people you a professional comedian. Because when I tell people I'm a comedian, like, I'm doing this, I'm doing it now, like, full time, 100%. Then at first it was like 80%. Like, it, I was making more from the company than I was my regular job. And then you, you ain't put no sacrifice in. Like, broke up with your girlfriend because she didn't see the vision and you couldn't make it to the open mic late at night because y'all be arguing. And you was like, well, I got to get to the open mic to get to the next level. So we just going to probably have to break up. And if we come back together, so be it. If not... So be it. If you ain't doing nothing like that, then you still have a hobby and you just trying to find something to do. But you can't just go to your Instagram and change your name from from Jerry to Jerry the Comedian or Comedian Jerry or the Great Comedian Jerry. Like, you still just Jerry. Until somebody call you and be like, I got like $50 for you to come perform. So it's, it's best for them to just keep grinding until they get where they need to you be. Know, like, say, you know, pay your dues and stuff. Like, they ain't even got a dollar for me yet. But they telling people they're a professional comedian. You supposed to say, I'm trying, you know, I'm thinking about it. What's my step? You know, go around and you know, just, you know, we have some respect for the craft and the art because you don't go around telling people, you know, professional doctor because you gave the Heimlich McNew a, a, a couple times and tossed up a bone out somebody's throat. Now, you might be inspired after that. You're going to take some medical <laughs> You can't put doctor at the front of your name because, you know, you woke somebody up from passing out by putting an ice pack on their head. Right. You okay. <laughs> call yourself a professor because you went and taught a kid one plus one and now they know two, which that's your child and you just pretty much helping them with their homework. <laughs> but you ain't a professor. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> good advice, good advice. Well, this is your girl, Carla, and I'm bringing it to you from Power 904. Thank you so much for the time and the opportunity. Um, hit us up. Let us know what you have going on. Keep us in touch, and we'll do the same. Well, before you okay. go, give your uh, social media and stuff real quick. Uh, social media. That was my uh, other question. Now, how can anyone like find your, um, your social media information to look you up? Okay, so first off, I am Googleable. Um... So you could go to Google and actually put in Little Dad a Comedian. I spell L I L 
B A R R E L. So it's spelled like Daryl, but it's pronounced Daryl. The comedian. No spaces, no underscore, no none of that. Just straight. Lil Dare the comedian, and that is also all my social media: Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, uh, Twitter, everything. Just Lil Dare, real simple, easy. If you want to get at me for booking, email DD Bradford two thousand five at, at Gmail. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you all for having me. And that's what's popping with your girl, Carla, from Power 904.